so we are back again now i want to show you let's do one bedroom on the floor plan and again we'll do we will try to do another bedroom on the on the ground floor then we'll try to do one more bedroom which will be this living uh, master bedroom so now i'm just deleting this so that it is more clear and uh, here like we said when it comes to implementation you will use as um you'll use mortar like it will be more like plaster that will fill this space here so we want our bed to be in such a way that i mean the headboard of the bed to be on this wall so that when you're here you can be able to see outside i mean if the curtains not on yeah so let's see so this is pretty simple we begin with the ceiling and to do the ceiling you you just draw lines And then now I want to offset it so yeah if you don't have this option if you don't have this option for offsetting like I'd shown before you go to window then you go to palette then you go to control box and you switch it on so I click on this so that I'm able to like offset this line we want to do more like what you are doing here but now we just want to do something that is more interesting so i do 300 and i can offset this one again so you, you click on the line then you click on the line tool and you click on this command and you hit on this which is to offset so now i want this one to be 400 and uh, let me separate at the middle so that it becomes easier for me to draw my slabs and i'm going to options then elements and surfaces to create a new texture for let me create like jade so so it is a saturday evening and right now there is a lot of noise background noise i'll try to delete some but yeah i'm not sure if i'll be able to clear all the noise background noise and if now I've clicked on the slab so I can come and click on this box like you hold space bar and you click and you click so I can do the same here as well and here so if I click on this then I press ctrl T I might want let me say to use 550 and to be 2800 millimeters from the ground this is where my ceiling is at 28 2800 then uh, the model let me try to change texture to the new one that we've just created which was jed and for this one we want it to be ctrl t and uh, again we're just using the same texture which is this and to link we chain it together then you can do thickness to be 25 and let me place it somewhere like 2700 let me just type 2700 but we are going to adjust it to where we want it to be so to do the adjustment i will draw a section here or you can go and bring the other section that you are using on the other end but let me just draw a new section like here so if i click on the section then i can open the section and from here where we we are we so this is the fossil 
oh, this is where we are so this is what we have and we basically want it to be um, from here i want it to be 150 150 mm so this is here so i'm going to drop it downwards now to do it better we have le let's group this we click on this and uh, so i click on that and this and control g and now I, that way i'm able to move it as a unit control d you can move it to where this is just there slightly up there so we've just changed the location of it and now i'm going to click on this again this line the inner line then i click on the line tool and we want to offset it again by a very small thing which is like which is let me do 15 mm so and we click on this let's suspend groups first then so that you can just click on one of it you press control control shift plus d control shift plus d so that i make a copy of it i click it and i click it like i've just made us a copy of the same but at the same place now i move this node to this point and i move this node again to this point and i repeat it here and again i do the same here so yeah and let me check something first i click on this so i made a mistake of ungrouping this so control t you want to see where it was it is 24 25 24 25 so if i click on this let me lower this a little to to 125 this one to by 25 so that what remains there like what we've just drawn which is uh, here this one control t i want it to be 2450 to be 50 mm ab above the other one then i press control shift plus m and i make a mirror copy of it like that now i click on this one now i click on the inner line and let me end this switch suspense group i've clicked on the inner line then i'm going to offset it again i go to lines then this and this and i do the offset again by 15 mm and yeah I click now on this and control shift plus D I make a copy of the same and we do the adjustment again moving the nodes and once you're done control T we try to adjust the position so we are moving it by 50 which will be 25 and we're moving it upwards so control shift plus m and i do a mirror copy of the same and now i do the last one click on the line tool and i want to offset it again by 15 mm and i click on this control shift plus d to make a copy of it so i can click it here and there i mean at the same node so that i make a copy at the same location then i try to do the adjustment now uh -huh. then uh, once you're done you check uh control t you do to check i mean you want to raise it higher like by 50 again and now you control shift plus m you make a mirror copy of 
the same but let's try to see first what we are doing we might be missing up and we don't know so like you can see we did mess up a lot to loot to loot to loot oh i know the mess is i had suspended groups when i clicked on this this is supposed to be control t supposed to move it to 2500 2400 yeah but so far that's what we have maybe it doesn't look like anything but before we start to admire it admire it admire it now i click on the exterior line and line again i want to offset it to 650 six feet fifty six feet fifty six feet six feet six feet six feet six feet six feet so this is six fifty and now what we do let's just make a mirror a copy of one like this Control shift plus d we click on the node okay once we click we click on the node again and we have a copy so yeah we're done we're done we're done move by and we click on it we want it to be a little bit higher and thicker maybe higher so let's do 2650 for now okay 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 and we go to sections sections so we go to sections and we want to see it here it is here it is uh, here it is but i want it to be 150 from here 150 150 150 so that so i'm going that means i have to move it upwards still to there 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. then i'm clicking on an on a node and choosing this option to bring it downwards downwards and downwards downwards to there so that uh when i'm here like when i'm here you see it this way you see it, you see it that way so yeah yes 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 so we can uh we can do as what we can or well, let me try to i think I, if i want i can take it all the way to here yeah then i can make a mirror copy of it Control shift plus m yeah now we can offset can offset uh, before we do any other offset let's click on this and you have to make a copy of it first like I click it and I click it again so that I have a copy of it first before now I can start editing it to move what I want so I can bring it here this one I'm just merging the nodes so that I don't have many nodes and uh, here and this one to this point uh, and this one to this point then here okay so now we can go and try to change its location so we go to and we see it here it is i mean it is this one it must be it must be so control z control d control d we try to move it upwards man i think i made a mistake control z let me try to see first where it is 
where it is but let me click on it and try to move it upwards first before we go to the section oh we just have to reduce the thickness let's do like 200 So then let's go back to the section. Oh yeah, yeah it is. So basically what we want with it to be want it to be 150. So this 150 that we had drawn from the top part so I can drag it like that. Yeah. Then I can now come and do some more offsetting from here from the inner line so what I want is to offset this by 300 and I do offset it again so if you want to offset something twice ah, it's a lot of work now. let me go back then we can offset it again by 75 now and we go to the slab so let's create a new texture first options elements of this is want to create a darker text and recite 20 and recite 17 And now I can go back to the slab and click it there and here click this hold shift click this control G group it together control T go to settings make it the new texture which is paint and recite 17 and now we can change its location from the ground so we might want it to be just small like 25 and let's for now say it is 2600 mm from the ground so the essence is we want to have something here at the top that will appear more like someone did paint it it will appear more like a paint that's what we want so so not really like something which was made that way that's what i mean it appears more like you just used a brush here yeah so that is what we have so far and i think i'll have to end it there 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 so when we come back uh, we do lights and I, I don't know if you, i'll be able to use these ones here this one's a rectangular shape you can use either this or you can draw circular ones on the other end so that we have we will have uh, of course I'm even lost we are going to draw let me use this one to move around better we're going to draw a light here at the end where we will have a bed and some light will be hanging here and another one here this one will be cooler once i'll make a specific video for them but the ones that we are going to place here at the top will be common ones from uh, from the software from MarkyCAD. so yeah and then we might after that is when we will try to take it to twin motion for visualization